real true. Ay, ay, we're hump set. 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 Yo, what's up, everyone? This is VC V Sips. Welcome to another video. Thank you guys for coming through. We got some new Nintendo content to talk about, some big sales numbers. But before we do, I want to mention real quick, I dropped a recent video on Persona 4 Golden, a special tier list video with my friend King Narakami. Check that out after this video. If you haven't seen it already, be much appreciated. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that like button if you're hyped for the 80 million Switch units sold, as well as subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the newest live streams, videos, music, and more content provided for you. But without further ado, we are going to get started with this video. 80 million Switch units. And it hasn't been four years yet since the console, the Nintendo Switch, has been released. 80 million! Do you guys comprehend this? The last time a Nintendo home console has hit more than 80 million was the Wii. And it's kind of ridiculously insane to think that Nintendo is doing as well as they are. And... It's great to see with so many games that are also getting a large increase in sales. Hardware units are up on both the regular Switch as well as the Switch Lite. The Switch Lite is practically about to outsell the Nintendo Wii U. The Switch Lite is about to outsell the Wii U. Let's get deeper into the numbers though. I'm not crazy about sales, like so I'm not the one that like knows everything, but here's all the financial results. It's kind of crazy, literally 80 million units. And oh my God, yo, the numbers, man, the numbers don't lie. Their total net sales were over 1.4 billion yen. What? That's crazy. And they had a total net profit across orders one, two, and three for 376 million yen. And they sold hardware about 80 million units while Switch software was over 532 million. That's 532 million units of software, guys. That's gnarly. That's wild. They sold 16 million Switches and 7.3 million Switch lights. While games like Paper Mario Origami King, Mario 3D All-Stars maintained continued growth in their sales as well. Mario 3D, Mario 3D All-Stars, by the way, has 8.32 million units sold. And Mario Kart Live Home Circuit has over 1 million units. And Pikmin 3 Deluxe is about to hit 2 million. And of course, Animal Crossing about to hit 32 million. And it actually didn't pass up Mario Kart. A lot of us expected Animal Crossing New Horizons to pass up Mario Kart. But Mario Kart got another 9 million to reach 33 million units. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still the highest sold Mario Kart to date compared to the Wii version of Mario Kart, but it's also one of the only games to reach beyond 30 million units along with Animal Crossing, and it's still the most sold uh, Switch game to date, Mario Kart Deluxe, a Wii U game. But you know what's crazy about this financial report? They're talking about Buddy Mission Bond, which currently doesn't have a Western release, so the fact that they have expectations of Buddy Mission Bond tells me an English version of that game could be coming soon. That is the majority of the financial results of everything that's been going down with Nintendo. And, yo, those numbers, man, it's insane to me, yo. It's kind of really just baffling that it's even possible for this to even be happening. Let's The success rate, the attachment rate of the games and the platform to Switch, it's really, really working. And Nintendo is getting all the benefits. They're reaping all the benefits from the games that they have on their platform. And literally, the growth is undeniable. It really is. It's insane. And their expectations for Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, it's looking good. They have a lot of great plans for that, including the Mario Red and Blue Switch Edition that they're planning to sell. Uh, looks like they have a lot of big plans for that as well, which comes along with that matching carrying case. And uh, I think that there's a lot of potential here. And for those who don't know, there is a Monster Hunter Rise Switch 
Uh, that one, surprisingly enough, isn't in this financial report. They didn't mention it. But yo, that's the Switch that like looks the best one to me. But it's only going to be in Europe and Japan, which is kind of unfortunate. However, at the end of the day, these numbers are nuts. <laughs> these numbers are nuts. When you look at the numbers in deep and nitty gritty, it's kind of crazy. So if you guys want to see this financial report, I'll leave the link for it in the description. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It's just crazy, yo. It's great to see Nintendo getting some success after the fail of the Wii U. And I love my Wii U. And a lot of the games on the Wii U are successful on the Switch. But man, it's just great to see that Nintendo is finally bouncing back and making some good moves from it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on Nintendo Switch hitting about 80 million units sold hardware. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to never miss a live stream, upload, music, video, review, and more. And consider joining our community 100% click out through Patreon or through YouTube or as a Twitch sub. Let's try and bounce back to 100 members on our channel and in our click, the 100% click. Thank you all so much for watching this, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace. Peace, peace, it's awesome.